Hey, Riley. Yeah? What'll you have? Pabst Blue Ribbon. What else? Smoother, smoother, smoother flavor. Best and Sparkle, million flavor. Taste that smoother, smoother flavor. Pabst Blue Ribbon beer. What'll you have? Pabst Blue Ribbon. Folks, before we bring you the life of Riley tonight, this is Harry Bonzel with an important announcement. This next Wednesday night, our sponsor, Paps Blue Ribbon, is going to bring you one of the greatest sports events in many, many years. The middleweight boxing championship of the world between Jake LaMotta and Sugar Ray Robinson. The fight will be broadcast next Wednesday night on both radio and television direct from the Chicago Stadium. We're certainly all going to be listening, and we hope you will too. Internationally famous Pabst Blue Ribbon, finest beer served anywhere, proudly presents The Life of Riley, starring William Bendix as Riley. <laughs> Did you ever try to keep a secret from your wife? Well, before you do, consider the case of one Chester A. Riley, which began a few weeks ago as the Rileys were leaving a party given by their neighbor, Luella Lounsbury. At which, judging from their comments, the Rileys had a delightful time. Well, good night, Luella. Thank you for everything. It was a lovely party, wasn't it, Riley? Oh, yeah. Gee, Luella, it was a great party, and we certainly enjoyed every hour of it. Oh, I'm so glad. You all must come over again real soon. Oh, yes, we must. It was really grand. Well, good night, Luella. Good night, you all. Good night, you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's the last time I'll go to one of her parties. What? Well, you just said you had a good time, Peg. Sitting in a corner by myself all evening, watching you making a fool of yourself, is not my idea of a good time. Well, what did I do? The way you acted with that Luella was disgraceful. Jumping all over the room like, like two grasshoppers. We were dancing. You call that dancing? We... Hopping up and down, shaking all over like a great big lump of jello. <laughs> you gotta shake in some places when you do the Charleston. <laughs> Gee whiz, Peg, just because you can't dance, there's no reason I shouldn't. Why, I've forgotten more about dancing than you'll ever know. Or, or that Luella either. Well, then why didn't you ask me to dance with you? I'd have been willing. Well, how generous. Every time we go anywhere, it's the same story. You just dump me in a corner somewhere and off you go, and that's the last I see of you till it's time to leave. Some fun. Well, gee, Peg, we're married. You can't expect us to have fun together. <laughs> well, why not? Look, I don't know what you want from me. You don't dance, you don't play cards, you don't play charades. What do you expect me to do with you at parties? Neck? <laughs> It was all right when we were engaged. Now I got too much respect for you. <laughs> I just don't know what you want, Peg. You... Well, I just want... Oh, what's the use? Well, I don't know why you're blaming me. Now, now you take this dance that we're going to have at the plant next Yes, month. what about The it? big feature is going to be a dance contest. And the best couple gets a big prize. But would you enter the contest with me? Oh, no. Well, you... I'd like to dance with you, but you don't know how. I do so. Now, if, if you just take a few lessons. I don't need no oh, lessons. look, dear. Look, I'll take lessons with you. We can go to one of those dancing studios. They have special classes for couples. And we can I learn... I don't to... need no lessons. Oh, you're so stubborn. I can dance. Luella thinks I'm a very good dancer. Luella thinks a lot of weird things. She still thinks she's only 40 years old. She happens to be 29. Oh, Riley. Oh, honest, you really believe that? Luella wouldn't lie to me. If she's 29... Oh, you men. All that peroxide blonde has to do is to flutter her baby blue eyes at you and give you a whiff of that perfume of hers and you stop using your brain. That's not true. I stopped using my brain long before I met Luella. <laughs> lessons. I should take lessons. All I need is a little practice. Now, uh, where's that record I had? Oh, here it is. Uh, let's see. Charleston, Charleston. Oh, there's an earthquake. Oh, a 
it's you. That's Charleston. That, that. What are you doing, Pop? Well, what does it look like I'm doing? That's like that, you're that, trying that, to that, kick that, your that. teeth out. I happen to be doing the Charleston. Oh. What do you mean, oh? Well, that's not the way. Look, I'll show you. Da, 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 da. See, you get the idea? Well, that's just what I'm doing. Watch. Da, 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 de, da, de, oh, da, no, da, no, no, Pop. Da, da, well, I'm doing just what you're doing, only more of it. Da, 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 oh, no, you've got da, it all wrong. Da, 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 Daddy, what da, are you doing? Da, 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 da. What does it look like I'm doing? Da, 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 Pop's doing the Charleston. Oh, no wonder the South still sore at the North. <laughs> and just what does that mean, young lady? Oh, nothing, Daddy. Only you're doing it all wrong. Now watch me. Yeah. Da 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 de, 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 de. You see? Well, that's what I do. Da da de, da 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 da. What's wrong with this? Oh, da, da, da. You look just like a big frisky elephant. <laughs> Well, that's a fine thing to say to your own father. Oh, I'm sorry, Daddy. I didn't mean... I know when I'm being insulted, calling your own father an elephant. Oh, please, Daddy. But I'll always remember this, because an elephant never forgets. what are you doing? He's doing the Charleston. The Charleston? Well, what's so funny? I can do it just as good as you. Oh, you think so? Yeah. Huh. Watch. Da, 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 da. Oh, da, boy, that's swell, da, Mom. mother. <laughs> that's the Charleston. Uh, that's the way to do it, Daddy. I do it exactly like that. <laughs> da, 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 oh, do, 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 no, do. lift your leg higher. Huh? He can't. His stomach's in the way. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I don't have to stand here and be made a fool of by my own family. Oh, oh now, wait a minute, uh, well, dear. We're only trying to help you. See, you're too stiff. You, you, you gotta limber up and uh, stretch your muscles. Here, look. I'll show you a little exercise I learned when I took lessons years ago. It'll really limber you up. Yeah, well, what is it? Well, we'll need a table. Uh -huh. oh, oh, this one'll do. Here, now, lift your left leg yeah. and put it on the table. Oh, put... You mean... Like this? Uh, yeah. 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 Now, keep it still. Uh, uh, there, that's it. Uh, this sure stretches the muscles. And... Oh, that's fine. Uh, now, do the same thing with the right leg. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Don't! Stop! <laughs> oh, you tricked me. <laughs> well, I didn't tell you to put both legs up at the same time. <laughs> Oh, hello, Luella. <laughs> Have you recuperated from the party yet, Chester? Oh, yeah, it was a great party. Oh, too bad your sweet little better half rushed your way so early. Yeah, I, I wish I could have stayed. <laughs> so do I. You were the life of the party, Chester. <laughs> I was? <laughs> What ails most of these here northern men? They come to a party and just sit around like a pack of tired old hound dogs. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. Of course, I don't mean you, Chester. Why, well, compared to those old hound dogs, you're like a spry young terrier. <laughs> <laughs> I was just coughing. Oh, well, I, I've got to run. I'll be late for my dancing lesson. Oh, you take lessons? But, but you're such a good dancer. Well, well you can always learn a little more. Yeah, maybe I should take a few lessons. We're going to have a dance contest at the plant banquet, and I'd like to win it. Well, then by all means, you should take lessons. It's only $25 for the course. Oh, well, it ain't the money. It's the cash. <laughs> Well, now, I've got a wonderful idea. At this class I go to at the Casablanca Studios, it's the same price for a couple as it is for one. Why don't you come along with me? It won't cost you a cent. Well, no, 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 I couldn't do that. Why not? Well, I'm a gentleman that way. Whenever there's a lady with me, it's Dutch treat. <laughs> oh, that's silly. 
Chester, I've already paid, so what's the difference? Well, I don't know. Oh, you'd be doing me a big favor. All the other people in the class are going to be couples. I'm afraid people will talk about me. Talk? An Alabama girl without an escort? Uh, <laughs> Why, it'd be scandal that it rank with the time Magnolia Culpepper was seen cutting a rug with a carpet biker. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if you put it that way, I'll be glad to help you out. Oh, uh, thank you, Chester. You're an angel. Well, come along. Well, yeah, but but there's only one thing. Well, I, uh, I, I wouldn't want Peg to hear about this. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with what we're doing. I, I just want to surprise her. You, you understand? <laughs> yes, I understand, you little old fox terrier. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, just barking. <laughs> uh, you sure it'll be all right, Dr. Oh, of course, Chester. Yeah, well, Come on, I'll tell the secretary, Mr. Valdez. Oh, yeah. uh, uh, pardon me, Mr. Valdez. Yes? I, I registered for the class in ballroom dancing alone, uh, but Mr. Riley is going to take the course with me. It's the same fee, isn't it? Oh, yes. Uh, you got a red card, didn't you? Yes, I, here it is. Well, if you will give me the red card, I will give you the blue card. Oh, thank you, Mr. Valdez. Uh, fine. And uh, now you're all set. Oh, right? well, thanks. <laughs> oh, now, Mr. Riley, yeah. if you will take Mrs. Riley into Studio A. Studio A, huh? Okay. <coughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> he called you Mrs. Riley. He thinks you're... Oh. <laughs> well, don't look so frightened. It was a natural mistake. Yeah, but we better tell him. Well, I guess so. Wait, Luella. Hmm? On this blue ticket here, it says... The two-for-one plan applies only to husband and wife. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, what a shame. Yeah, I, I sure need those lessons, but I can't marry you. I'm married already. <laughs> well, you can still take them with me. We don't have to tell them we're not married. Let them think what they wish. Yeah, but that ain't right. Well, well what's the harm? It's only five lessons. Oh, yeah, sure. Well, there's really no harm. Mm -hmm. After all, we won't be acting like a real husband and wife. <laughs> I ain't going to give you my paycheck every week. <laughs> yeah, well, let's go, huh? Eh? How are you doing, Luella? Oh, wonderful, Chester. You're so light on my feet. <laughs> yeah. And it's so easy to follow. Yeah. Huh, that sure was a workout. Did I, did I really do okay? Oh, yes. You've improved remarkably, and you've had only five lessons. Oh, boy. Peg is going to get the surprise of her life when uh, I show her. Hey. Hey, look at that guy over there with the camera. What's he taking pictures for? Oh, well, uh, some publicity stunt, I guess. Oh, yeah. Well, I certainly appreciate you helping me out like this, Laura. Oh, Chester, it was a pleasure to have you for my part. Yeah. <laughs> but remember, this is our little secret, huh? I... I wouldn't want Peg to know that I took lessons, especially with you. Oh, Chester, I don't know why you're being so secretive. We're not doing anything wrong. Well, no, no, don't get me wrong. I, I ain't the kind of a husband who hides things from his wife. Of course not. And it isn't as if I'm the kind of a husband who's afraid of his wife. I'm, I'm not afraid. Of course you're well, what not. What have I got to hide? As far as I'm concerned, I'd tell her tomorrow. You know, I'm not afraid of her. Of course not. Yeah, but let's keep our trap shut, huh? <laughs> You have just heard the first act of The Life of Riley, starring William Bendix as Riley. But now, here's an important question. What do you have? Perhaps Blue Ribbon. What do you have? Perhaps Blue Ribbon. On Valentine's Day, it's nice to say I love you in a lavish way. So give your very dearest dear a case of Pabst Blue Ribbon beer. What do you have? Pabst Blue Ribbon. What do you have? Pabst Blue Ribbon. What do you have? Pabst Blue Ribbon. Pabst Blue Ribbon beer. Smoother, smoother, smoother flavor. Zest and sparkle, millions favor. Taste that smoother, smoother flavor. Pat's Blue Ribbon Beer. Finest beer served anywhere. And say, friends, do you want to know the real payoff on how to judge truly fine beer? It's easy. You just pour yourself a glass of Pat's Blue Ribbon and make the three-way experts test. One, look at that clear color, that creamy head. Two, sniff that fragrant Blue Ribbon blend. Three, 
Taste that flavor. The flavor the whole world knows, and you're bound to agree. Finest beer served anywhere. Pabst Blue Ribbon beer. What'll you have? Paps Blue Ribbon. And now back to the life of Riley, starring William Bendix as Riley with Paula Winslow and John Brown. Oh, is that you, Junior? Come here, Pop. Uh, Junior, what are you doing hiding in the bushes? Shh, come here, I want to show you something. Well, I ain't committed a crime. I don't have to hide in no bushes. You come out here. Okay. Yeah. Pop, look. Uh, in the evening paper, this advertisement. Yeah, well, what about it? It just shows a couple dancing. <laughs> hey, the dame's okay, but her partner looks like he was... Dead. Oh. <laughs> Holy smoke, it's me and Luella. And look, Mr. and Mrs. Riley, one of the many happy couples who have taken advantage of our two-for-one plan. <laughs> Quick, let's get in the bushes. <laughs> What's it all about, Pop? They got no right using my picture. Pop, I don't understand. Why does it say Mr. and Mrs. Riley? Yeah, well, it's a long story, Junior. I'll explain later. Your mother hasn't seen this, has she? No. She oh. sent me to get the paper, and I was looking through it and saw this. So I figured I'd better wait out here and warn you. Oh, good boy. You know all the angles. <laughs> You'll make a fine husband someday, Junior. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Riley, I'll sue them. That's what I'll do. <laughs> Pop. Well, what is it? What are you crying about? Well, is my mother, is she? Well, of course not. Your mother is your mother. Now, listen, Junior, your mother mustn't find out about this ad. I won't say a word, Pop. Oh, well, I'll throw the paper away. Now, I'm counting on you, Junior. You can trust me. Well, of course I can. Now, any other father in a spot like this, he'd, he'd try to bribe his kid. And... Oh, you don't have to bribe me, Pop. <laughs> Gee, I wouldn't blackmail you. Well, of course not. You ain't that kind of a kid, and I ain't that kind of a father. But just to show some appreciation, I'm going to buy you a new basketball. I seen some reduced to $1.98. You know? Well, as long as you're showing your appreciation, Pop, you'd better buy me a new Columbia bike. What? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I guess I better. <laughs> just to show my appreciation that you're not blackmailing me. Eh? Well, let's go in the house. And remember, this is just between you and me, Junior. And, and Babs. Yeah. Babs. She saw it? Yeah. Oh, that's bad. Daddy. Babs, you didn't tell your mother, did you? About the end? Yeah. Gosh, no. Oh, good girl. Well, what's it all about? How come you and Luella... It's a crazy were... mistake. I give you my word, I ain't married to Luella. <laughs> Listen, Babs, there's nothing to all this. It's just a misprint, but you know your mother. A little thing like this is liable to upset her, so let's keep it confidential between the three of us, huh? But, Daddy, yeah, I... And just to show my appreciation, I'll buy you a pair of stockings. Oh, oh thanks, Daddy. You're a darling. Uh, Babs, don't be a sucker. I got myself a new bike. Uh, and, and naturally, I'll have to get a new dress to go with the stockings. Huh, Daddy? Uh, uh... <laughs> Yeah, I was just going to insist on it. Yeah. <laughs> now, uh, let's break this up. Your mother may get suspicious if she sees us whisper like this. You two go ahead and tell her I'm home, huh? Oh, okay. All right, yeah. Pop. Uh, fine pair of kids I got. They're as crooked as their old man. <laughs> Once I put something over on the old girl. <laughs> ah, but I don't feel happy about it. Maybe I ought to make a clean breast of it. Tell her everything. No, why should I dig my own grave? True. Why not let me help you? <laughs> oh, it's you. It is I indeed. Digby O'Dell, the friendly undertaker. <laughs> you seem perturbed, dear chum. Well, yeah, a little, but I ain't saying... Oh, well, perhaps it would cheer you up to accompany me to a meeting. I'm going to the UEPDMJJS. UEPDMJJS? Yes, the Undertakers, Embalmers, and Pallbearers, Dig Me Jackson Jitterbug Society. <laughs> the orchestra is led by Spade Cooley. When we dance, we really send you. Well, that's nice. We send you right out of this world. 
won't you join us, Riley? We like a live wire. Well, no, no thanks. No dancing for me. That's why I'm in trouble now. Listen, Digger, did you ever keep a secret from your wife? Only once, when we were engaged. I didn't tell her what I did for a living. She thought I was a bookkeeper. Oh, well, what happened? One day she found out the kind of figures I really juggle. <laughs> Take the advice of a tried and true husband, Riley. Never conceal the truth. Go to your wife. Confess all. Well, I don't know. Look at this here, Ed. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Wright? Yeah. Oh, good heavens. This is a picture of you and Luella Lounsbury. Yeah, that's right, you see. Oh, you I... can. If you're contemplating bigamy, I'll drop you flat. And I'm the boy who can do it. <laughs> well, I'm not... I warn you, you, the same thing will happen to you that happened to a friend of mine. His epitaph reads, and I quote, Jonathan Jenkins had two wives. He was one of those two-timing kiddos. He was having such fun till number two met number one. Now Jonathan has two widows. <laughs> well, cheerio. I'd better be shoveling off. <laughs> tell mother before she finds out herself. She'll never find out. You won't tell her. Oh, no. Junior won't tell her. No. Luella won't tell her, so how'll she find out? No, it's better this way. We... But, Pop, you once told me the first law of marriage is never to keep a secret from your wife. No, that's the second law. The first law is self-preservation. <laughs> oh, Daddy, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready, Dumplin' dears. Well, if we're going, let's go. Uh, just a minute, Faye. Now, you know I'm only going for your sake, Riley. I can do without this dance. I'd just as soon sit home and be bored. Uh, you won't be bored. You'll be the hit of the evening. You're going to win first prize in the dance contest. Oh, now, Riley, don't start that uh, again. I told you I won't dance with you until you learn how. Well, that's fair enough. Watch. Dun, 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 dun. Oh. What are you doing? Get a load of this. Charleston. Why, Riley? That, that's wonderful. Oh, boy, look at Paul. Oh, Daddy, you're a sensation. Uh, not bad, huh? What's Fred Astaire got that I haven't got? <laughs> Besides money. What? That's the most amazing thing I ever saw. Well, now, will you dance with me, Dumplin? Uh, well, I, I guess I'll have to, but... How did you ever learn so fast? Just practicing. Uh, you sure you didn't take lessons? Lessons? Me? Oh, but, but that, 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 that's ridiculous. Uh, ain't it, kids? Well... Let's go! <laughs> take it easy, Ryan. Keep going, take your going, Trace. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, Peg, I got a feeling we won. We're a cinch to get first prize. Oh, what is the first prize? I don't know. It's a secret. But... Ladies and gentlemen, your attention. Attention. Oh, they're going to announce the winner. The decision of the judges is anonymous. First prize goes to Mr. and Mrs. Riley of the Riveton the Barber. We won. We won. I told you we'd win, Peg. I told you. Step up on the platform, Mr. and Mrs. Riley. Come on, Peg. Come on. Oh, take it easy, Riley. Now, folks, I'm happy to announce that the first prize, valued at $250, Goes to this here talented couple. Vice prize is a year's free dancing lessons. Dancing lessons. And now I like the guy who generously donated this here prize to make the presentation himself, Mr. Valdez of the Casablanca Studio. Peg, let's go, Peg. Oh, what for? On behalf of the Casablanca Studios. I present you with a certificate for one year's dancing lessons for two. <laughs> Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Riley. Peg, let's go. I need air. Oh, thank you. Uh, oh, well, uh, Mrs. Riley, uh, I didn't recognize you at first. Uh, oh, oh, I know. You dyed your hair. Oh, oh, no. I, I don't think we've met before, Mr. Valdez. But of course, when you took lessons at our studio with your husband. <laughs> I took lessons? Peg, let's go. I need oxygen. <laughs> oh, uh, by the way, we would like you and Mr. Riley to pose for another ad. Another ad? Yes. Oh, uh, didn't you see the ad? Uh, I'll show it to you. I, I have a clipping here somewhere. I really gotta go, Peg. Wait, dear. We want to see this ad, don't we? Do we? Ah, 
Ah, here it is. Oh, Mr. and Mrs. Riley. Chester Not Riley. Can explain everything. Hey, Riley, you? how about a thank you speech, huh? No, speech, wanna, speech, no, no. speech. Oh. Yes, say something, dear. Yeah, I, 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 uh, <clears throat> I'm very grateful for this wonderful prize, but I think my dancing days are over. <laughs> so instead of a year's free dancing lessons for two, could I just have a year's free hospital attention for one? <laughs> Riley's will be back in just a moment, but right now... Oh, it's famous, not just here at home, but from Timbuktu to far off Nome. From the Virgin Isles to the Straits of Dover, it's Pabst Blue Ribbon the whole world over. If you should meet a barracuda when you are cruising to Bermuda Don't be dismayed by such a dish Just ask him what goes well with fish What'll you have? Paps Blue Ribbon What'll you have? Paps Blue Ribbon What'll you have? Paps Blue Ribbon Paps Blue Ribbon, dear Smoother, smoother Zest and sparkle, millions flavor. Taste that smoother, smoother flavor. That's the ribbon beer. Yes, sir, wherever you travel, to the far corners of the world or right here in the good old USA, you'll find folks enjoying that international favorite, Pabst Blue Ribbon. Remember, the quality that has carried Pabst Blue Ribbon around the world is yours for the asking. The next time the waiter asks you, what'll you have, tell him you want the world's number one favorite. Pabst Blue Ribbon, finest beer served anywhere. Peg, please talk to me. Uh, I told you a dozen times how it happened. It was perfectly harmless. I just did it to get free lessons. Luella don't mean a thing to me. You know that. I just didn't want to admit to you that I needed lessons. It was all Luella's idea anyway. You know me. I ain't got a mind of my own, so I'll use anybody's. <laughs> Uh, I, I was wondering, uh, are you going to be home this Wednesday night? Am I going to be home? You bet I'm going to be home. Peg, do you realize what's happening this Wednesday night? Jake LaMotta is fighting Sugar Ray Robinson for the middleweight championship of the world. Am I going to be home? I've invited Gillis and Digger and four guys from the plant. And, uh, Peg, uh, you know what that means. I know, Riley. You want the icebox filled with Pabst Blue Ribbon. Finest beer served anywhere. Smoother, smoother, smoother flavors. Zest and sparkle, millions favor. Taste that smoother, smoother flavor. Pabst Blue Ribbon beer. What'll you have? Pabst Blue Ribbon. Pabst Blue Ribbon invites you to join us again next week to hear The Life of Riley, starring William Bendix as Riley. The script is by Reuben Shipp and Alan Lipscott. Direction by Mitch Lindemann. Mrs. Riley is Paula Winslow. Digger O'Dell is John Brown. Babs is Barbara Eiler. Junior is Bobby Ellis. The Life of Riley is produced by Irving Brecker. The Life of Riley is brought to you by the Pabst Brewing Company of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and sent your way with the best wishes of Pabst Brew Ribbon dealers from coast to coast. This is Harry Bonzel saying, see you next week. Groucho Marx joins Tallulah Bankhead's big show Sunday on NBC.